Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dirty HD, and today I have a very special video, and it is going to be talking about how supply drops are going to be even worse than they were in Black Ops 3, quite even possibly worse than they were in Advanced Warfare. Bye. You may be thinking to yourself, Dirty, how can they be worse than Advanced Warfare or even Black Ops 3? Now, the reason I think this is because in Advanced Warfare we had variants of guns and also now in Infinite Warfare we have variants of guns. Salvage is pretty hard to come by in this game. Now, the only ways you can get it is by completing the team missions and it looks like there's only four teams available and once you've done that, I'm pretty sure you can't get any more salvage from the teams. Now, also when you open a supply drop, you barely get any salvage. Now, so if you want to get 3,500 salvage to say unlock the Ripper, it would cost a lot of supply drops. And the likelihood of getting the Ripper in a supply drop is very, very unlikely. I haven't seen anyone so far in the beta even, which I would have thought they would have increased the chances just because it's the beta to give everyone a fair go at every single gun. But in the beta, I didn't see many people getting the Ripper or anything like that. Um, in the supply drops that was when we first kind of that is when we actually first saw supply drops and that literally ruined the whole game of advanced warfare i haven't found anyone that actually liked advanced warfare and infinite warfare it's a good game do not get me wrong i love that game i thought i would hate it to be honest but i think it's a pretty decent game i enjoyed the beta a lot but they have made it basically pay to play because they've added variants of weapons. Yeah, sure, they have um, let you not buy supply drops, if that makes sense, by adding salvage and you can earn salvage in the game. But still, that is made very, very hard. People don't have the attention spam to basically play so much just to get save up salvage and like you have to spend 3,500 salvage now that basically takes a whole day of just sitting on your screen playing like youtubers and stuff they can open supply drops fair enough they spend all them they can spend loads and loads of money and then just get it all back from their videos but normal players like us we can't get it or small youtubers like us we can't get like the weapons and stuff we have a disadvantage over people that spend loads and loads of money on supply drops and might end up getting maybe one of the epics like the ripper or something like that in an actual supply drop if not they'll be getting um, salvage points it might not be loads of salvage points from supply drops but if they open a load of them it will all add up and they'll just be able to unlock the weapons straight away and they'll just have an advantage because they'll have better weapons another reason why i think supply drops are going to be even worse is the crypto keys they need to tone up the crypto keys on how many you earn because it took forever to get 30 crypto keys or keys whatever you want to call them just to unlock um, a rare supply drop literally it took me about 15 16 games i was trying hard i was doing well as well i was going on streaks i was doing everything i was completing missions i was literally doing everything you can do to get crypto keys and it was taking me about 10 to 15 games just to get 30 crypto keys and that is a lot of playing time that's a lot of time just to get one supply drop with maybe salvage for like 14 or 15 salvage when a gun costs 3500 salvage I personally think in Black Ops 1 that system was a lot better. They can still have supply drops the same um, as Advanced Warfare or something like that. Put it in Black Ops 1 but you should have like COD points. That currency that we had in Black Ops 1 where you can earn it. You earn it at the end of every game. It's a consistent amount. It's a decent amount. You are used to earn at the end of the game 500 to 1000 um, COD points and you also be like you were also able to earn cop points by contracts and like um i think they were called contracts i'm pretty sure you could earn cop points by doing that you had to spend cod points to get the contracts and if you didn't complete it you would lose the money that you spent on it but you were still able to make a profit and you would only choose the ones that you knew you would be able to do now that's personally what i think they should go back to if you they should have the option of supply drops if you want to open them, but that you shouldn't be forced to buy the supply drops.
Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is going to happen about supply drops, how you think they can fix it, maybe whether you think they're just not going to do anything about it, whether you do honestly think they're going to be even worse than Black Ops 3 and maybe even as bad as Advanced Warfare. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. I would appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button um to stay up to date with the latest content and that's been pretty much it i will see you all in the next video